Hi, I'm Jim Carlucci, the community editor for the Trenton Downtowner. For the next in our series of interviews produced in conjunction with Kevin Moriarty's Sky Dog Media, we're visiting Papa's Tomato Pie and talking with owner Nick Azaro. Nick's the third generation to run the business, which was started by his grandfather in 1912, although the restaurant's changed location a few times in the uh, nearly 100 years of its existence, it remains in the family. This fact allows Papa's to legitimately claim to be the oldest continuously operated family-owned pizza restaurant in the country. And to that, we say complimenti. Oh, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. This discovery, if you will, has generated some press for the restaurant. You've been interviewed on national public radio, the papers have run stories, Magazines. The magazines. How's the excitement changed your Wait, business? Channel 5. Channel 5. How, how's, how's that affected the oh, business? We, we have uh, many new customers from uh, all over the, the state, even Pennsylvania. As soon as they hit, it hit the paper, many people came in. They wanted to see uh, the oldest pizza restaurant in the United States. I've had phone calls from New York <laughs> arguing with me. I had <laughs> other people arguing with me, but it stands that we're the oldest pizza restaurant in the United States. And that is because Lombardi's... Lombardi's closed. Uh, well, the, the original Lombardi's opened in 05, closed it uh, 1984. Somebody else bought it in 94, and it was closed for 10 years. So he And he claimed to be the oldest. Well, I think even if you're uh, missing for seven years, you're declaring <laughs> dead. So... I think he's done with it, and uh, I'm the oldest pizza restaurant in the United States. That's, that's great. Being from the Trenton area, one uh, tends to take the whole Trenton tomato pie thing for granted. Would you explain for the uninitiated uh, the differences and the similarities between a tomato pie and a pizza? Where we put more love into our pizza. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. We have great water. Uh, I've been doing it for 50 years. I learned from my grandfather, my father, Dominic, and uh, we've been doing it a long time, and that's why we're still here. And we're the, good. the construction is... is uh, the construction of the pie is uh, we, have, we spread out the dough, we put the cheese on, then we put the tomatoes on the top, and I can't tell you why, because I have to either marry it or kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, speaking of Trenton style, you know, one of my little fascinations, and we've talked about this previously, you're one of the few places around it still makes a mustard pie, which as far as I know is a Trenton thing. I've never seen it yeah, anywhere well, else. Well, it started with this guy named Schuster, who bought my grandfather's, uh, one of my grandfather's pizzerias on uh, Whitaker Avenue. And uh, he made mustard pies. I never heard of him until he closed down the poor, the, the guy deceased and closed, the wife still had it, she closed and one of the workers came here to work for me, and they were telling me how to make it. So I took a shot and made it, and people like it. It's, it's, it's uh, mustard, brown mustard first, tomatoes, and the cheese, and that's a mustard pie. And and you you're doing so well with it. It's a special on it's Monday night. It's a special night. on Monday night. We uh, we we dropped the price on it to introduce it to uh, our regular customers, and some of them like it, some of them don't. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's good it, for a change. It, it's, it's good not, for a not, change. Not for a steady yeah. diet. Yeah. Although I don't know anyone who doesn't like pizza or tomato pie, uh, you do offer other items. What are some of your non-pizza specialties? No, uh, we have uh, lasagna. It's something. It's a special on Tuesdays. We have vodka rigatoni's on Thursdays. Our chicken palm on Wednesdays. It, it's enormous. People, we run out every every Wednesday. We run out of chicken palm. Then we have the. Regular macaronis, we have a, uh, rigatonis, uh, gnocchis, raviolis, spaghetti, meatballs or sausage. There are not too many dishes, but we, the ones we make are good. And you make every, everything's fresh. Everything's, everything's fresh. We run out of, uh, that's why we only have specials on each day. We run out and it's done. Great. Well, you know, for me, coming in here is... is uh, uh, it, it's Brings a you back. It takes me back. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a kid again. Um, got the red cream soda. So you, you, you're offering, you don't just offer good food here. You're offering a slice, if I can use that term, of, of what Trenton was. Yeah. And, and We haven't changed this place since 63, and people don't want me to change it. I added the chandeliers. We have 
thousands of pictures of our customers. Some are here, some are gone. And uh, they enjoy looking at the pictures. There, there's my aunt. There's my grandmother. They love to see these pictures. And and you know and and you've got you've got the the atmosphere. You've got the the menu. You've got the quality. Um, this is what keeps it going. It's why you've been yeah. here for 99 That's years, why and, we've been and, here and, for and, we're, and we're hoping you're here for another for another 99. Yeah. Uh, well, I <laughs> hope I'm, I hope I see a couple more myself. The family. The family. You know. The family. Yes, uh, my son is the fourth generation pizza guy, and I don't know of any other fourth generation pizza guy. That's great. That's great. even in New York. So, we've been talking with Nick Azero, the owner of. Uh, Papa's Tomato Pies, the country's oldest, continuously family-run pizza restaurant. For Community News Service, LLC, and Kevin Moriarty's Sky Dog Media, I'm Jim Carlucci. Thanks for tuning in.